this is where I start my adventure and this is going to be where I'm going to finish my adventure. When I first moved into the house I currently live at a year and a half ago, one of the neighbours came out to me, actually before I moved in when I was just viewing the place right here and told me about a possible adventure that's, that really tickled my fancy and in a year and a half I've still not done it. Today's the day I want to change that. So as you saw the end point there, the end of the adventure is also the start of the adventure as we're crossing the field into, here we go, this is my garden, see my bags packed into the house, been uh, packing up ropes earlier into this, got some work done, now heading out, gonna have a last swig of water, there we go, and on our way. Part one of the adventure, we're on foot and we're walking from my house to the other side of town where I live called Willington. So I have no idea how long today's going to be or how far I'm going to go, but I've put a timer on and a Strava to map it, so we'll find out at the end. There's the village hall, where actually today is voting day. I've never voted in my life, I've never seen anyone worth voting for. And I woke up today and actually had a change of heart and I thought, well, I may as well vote Green Party, but I couldn't, it's too late to register to vote, so no voting today for me. So we've just made it to the canal. We've walked 600 meters, seven minutes. Stage two begins. So about four years ago, I did an adventure around the Lake District. It was on my other YouTube channel called the Lake District Nomad with the wild human bushcraft crew and we did a thing called pack rafting. Pack rafting is where you have essentially a kayak that packs down so small you can put it in a rucksack so you can explore in a different way. So what we did in the Lake District, we would hike over a mountain, we'd inflate our pack raft, put our bag in the pack raft and then boat across the lake and then do the next one. So you can do routes that just aren't possible or would take you a lot longer on foot to walk around the body of water. So after four years of thinking about it, this year I finally bought myself a pack raft and it arrived today. And I couldn't wait to get out in it. So that's what the bag is for. We got the pack raft in the bag. Here we are, 45 minutes in, four kilometers on the foot. And we just got to our checkpoint for stage two to stage three. This canal goes over the river. Okay, we got swans and swanlets on the track and only one of them has made it through and the other lot got scared with me coming down the path. So I'm gonna give them some space. You guys go through, I'll give you a minute. One, is that daddy and that mummy? I reckon that's daddy there. Yeah, I'm going out the way. Check this bad boy out. Canal over a river. What is awesome about this, and one of the reasons I chose this specific pack raft is you can put your luggage in the actual hull bit inside the bit that you inflate so it makes it less air to inflate and there's no bags to get around and get wet it stays dry you don't need to carry around a big pump you just have a big bag and you fill the bag with air and you push the air from the bag into it finally you know the rule safety third How we doing? How we doing? Oh! 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 Hey! Hey! From backpacking to boating like that, man. Just swapped them over. Not even got a big rucksack on me or anything. Love it. Adventure, ingenuity. So this river is named after my favorite emoji. It's an animal. Okay, that's one clue. It's a bird. Final clue, I brought the gift back to Noah. Symbol for hope, that's it. The river dove headed southbound from Eggington to Newton's Volney. Current is actually cruising.
going under the train track. The shallow bit coming up. Oh, oh, we're going to make it. There we go. <laughs> Just. Woo. Uh oh. Ah. Oh. Six and a half kilometers, and we've just made it to the beginning of stage four, the end of stage three, where the River Dove meets the River Trent. Up and down the Dove, not a single soul other than animals. I scared a few animals, I think they don't really see people down here. There's just a load of swans, a gang of swans, signet. There's a signet, a baby swan. Oh, they're fighting. Shit, I better move. There's like 20, 15 swans or something. Oh. Gang? What is it called? They're all chilling. Right, Little River meets Big River, River Trent. Coming from Burton that way, we headed home that way. So if you haven't worked out by now, the route I'm doing is, I guess you'd call it a circular route, although it's more of a square or an oblong shape. From my house to the canal, the canal to the River Dove, River Dove to the Trent and the River Trent. Cruising all the way home, sailing it in. Right, bit deeper here. You do feel a bit more. I think the whole, the other one, I could have put my foot down the whole way. But now, a little bit deeper. But I've swam in this plenty of times from my house. The current's moving. It rained a few days ago. Always when it rains, the current's a bit faster. So I wanted to do it when I had a bit of support from, from the current. Now it's a lot wider. There's less precarious branches hanging over and I'm just kind of, I can relax a bit more now. Dun, 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 dun. One of the things that, that has uh, motivated me to do something like this lately, this like micro doorstep adventure is A, for whatever reason, either becoming more peaceful or honoring my body. I'm less desirous of crazy, big challenges of youth, massive hikes, chasing PRs, the next marathon or whatever it is. And yeah, just finding doorstep challenges where I don't have to drive as far. And I guess it's kind of a summer vibe as well, where you want, I'm not drawn to just go to the gym and just cook myself in the gym. I want the workout to be kind of secondary to the activity and an immersion in nature is such a blessed way. It's kind of God's gym, right? It's the playground he gave for us. I'm just getting old, you know? Just in my old man face. See the bridge and the power stations? That means home. So the other day I walked to that exact cow path into the water and swam from there to my house. So that's a couple hundred meters. Final, final bit. Rush hour. All these cars going home. I'm going home. Old school way. My boat. Ropes have been selling well lately. A lot of people doing eight week to flood the course. There's a group chat within the app, which is honestly the most heartwarming part of my job is seeing that group chat popping off with people going through the course and falling in love with rope flow for the first time. Those first few weeks of rope flow, first few months are magical. So it's really cool to see that. And so this was a little treat to myself and I'm chuffed with it. I'm excited to take it out again. I'm going up to Scotland next week. So I'm gonna be able to uh, explore with it there. It's gonna be quite fun. Time to push into the shore now. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Yes, back where we started. I guessed it was going to be around three hours, what we done? 210, much quicker than I thought. 10.04 kilometers, almost bang on 10 kilometers. Wow, what a fun little mini adventure. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get this cleaned off, packed down. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed this. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do another little micro adventure like this and see you in that video. Till then, Godspeed.